What's going on folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about my new, my new decoy haul. And uh, the guys over at Banded were nice enough to send these my way. They are the newest partner over at Duck Gun Podcast, which I'm super pumped about. So, right here, we got some decoys. Pro grade GHG, which they're the super nice ones. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open them up and show you guys kind of a review of um, what we got going on here. But before we jump into the video, real quick, if you're new here, hit that sub button. We got lots of content coming all season long. And the stupid dryer's running. I hate that dryer. I'm gonna break it in a million pieces. But before we jump into the video, real quick, if you're new here, hit that sub button. We got tons of content coming all season long. And the main gig of this channel is pumping out the hunt videos as well as doing some of these tips and tricks and product review videos along the way. So you don't want to miss out. Hit that sub button. You won't regret it. And also, the other thing we got rolling is the podcast um, podcast with Elliot from Freelance Duck Hunting. It's the Duck Gun Podcast. It rolls out weekly, and we stream it here live every week as well. So you don't want to miss out on that either. So let's jump into the video. So real quick, let's go grab some. All right, so this is what we got freaking nice looking decoys and they're not the super hard ones um don't know exactly what you call it but they're the soft plastic opposed to like the hard kind of plastic traditional decoys that we've had in the past you know they got dimples on them very nice detail and very nice coloring so there you kind of kind of see one of the mallards pretty sweet you know looks solid everywhere don't really have any paint chipping or anything like that can't complain about that. Let's see what else we got on there. And honestly, one thing I'll say about these is they're pretty, I mean, they're pretty big. Um, I don't think they're Magnum per se, but uh, they're definitely larger than what we'd say uh, a regular mallard is. But you know what they say about the Magnums is it's always good to have a little bit something bigger um, to draw their attention, but it has super great detail all through here. Um, again, solid looking decoy there for sure. And last, out of the mallard, see the difference here? Just kind of a regular mallard, and then we got the feeder. So, Again, we got the soft plastic. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it will fold in there. Just a little bit of give, soft plastic. Um, and it looks, you know, like with with that soft plastic, you don't have to worry about chipping as much because um, it's kind of on the plastic opposed to like chipping off the plastic. Um, but again, super nice coloring, super nice detail. Um, definitely pumped about these suckers for, for sure. So um, definitely can always use more mallard decoys. Have a nice set. So um, that's what we got on the, the mallard decoys. Let's go ahead and grab a goose. And the geese, they come in, the geese come in six packs. A little correction. The mallards are the pro grade XD, which I think that's what the refers to the soft plastic type of fill. And then the geese are just the pro grade. So it is, you know, the harder plastic that you kind of expect with traditional um, decoys. Every every single one of the six pack has a different head. Um, you got the the active, so they just slip in there. Screw on. There we go. A little bit of elbow grease. So you can see the active there, or the super active. But I'm not gonna screw all these in. You guys have seen goose decoys before. Um, so all the heads got the flocking on it, give it some more realism. Um, but here is a rester, then got a sleeper head. So obviously, I'm just gonna hook onto there. Got a sleeper head, um, got a Got some cheese hair on there. 
This is a semi-raster head. This is a active head. And this is a highly active head. So that's one thing that's really cool. Kind of give you realism. You know, add them to your set. And you're going to have different um, looking decoys all the way across it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what we got. Just wanted to show you the decoy haul. Super pumped. You know, beginning of the season is always awesome. We get some gear in. Um, and be pumped and ready for season and <laughs> we got early goose coming up right here in uh, Michigan coming this next week um, I don't know when I'm posting this video, but um, It'll be pretty close to season when this is coming out today If I'm doing it on the calendar, we're like nine days away from goose season in Michigan So I'm definitely pumped to get out here throwing out some of these floaters and getting on some geese. So um, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you hit that sub button. Appreciate you guys tuning in week after week, video after video. If you want to support the channel and the podcast, pick up a duck on hat. I'll put it down in the link in the description. But sweet hats, love them. Um, already sold out of one of the camo types. So just so you know that. Um, but it's all on the website as well. So anyways, guys, that's all we got for today. You pumped, guys. Season's coming. I'm Jordan, Duck and Chronicles, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.